possibly the best chicken wings of all time. Legendary. Now let's go! Get your chicken wings in a bowl. Okay, now we're gonna simply brine these with buttermilk, pickle juice, and Frank's Red Hot. Give it a real good mix. Now I'm gonna cover and marinate for a full 24 hours, but you could get away with doing it overnight. Or if you don't even wanna do that, maybe just do it for four hours at least. Okay, here we are. Now I did not mean to do this, but I got busy doing other stuff and this has been marinating for three days. And I wanted to share that because now it's an experiment. Because there's Frank's and pickle juice in here that has salt in it, I'm a little worried that they're gonna be kind of over brined, but also it could be amazing. So we're gonna find out. But you don't need to do it. Like 12 hours, 24 hours, you're good. Strain them off. Oh. Now we wanna get them as dry as possible. God, they smell so good. Now we need to coat them in some spices. No need to get too hung up about this, but this Paul Prudhomme Black and Redfish Magic, I love on chicken. But you can really use whatever kind of spices you like here, that's just personal preference. And I'm just gonna mix that with a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder, touch of cayenne, cause I like a little heat, and just a little Sergeant Gilbert action. Give that a good mix and apply. Both sides, of course. Now I'm doing these on the Traeger, but that is not necessary. I will explain more in a minute, another way to do it. And I've got it set to 350 degrees right now. And away there we go. So, obviously you don't need a Traeger, although they are very convenient. So lately, I've been enjoying wings that are not fried. I like them out of the oven or off the grill, and I'll tell you why. Frying things inside is a hassle, it makes a huge mess, you have all this leftover oil. That's one reason, and the other is you're using really terrible oil. Vegetable oil that you see in supermarkets is always made out of soybeans, purely. They even put little pictures of vegetables on the package to fool you. And so if you wanna fry with really good oil, it's expensive. Expensive. So to save all that hassle and also for health reasons, I like to bake them or grill them now. So if you wanna bake them, I would line them up on a sheet pan like this with a wire rack and bake them at 350 for about 30 minutes and then turn up the heat to like 425 for the last 10 to 15 minutes to crisp them up. So you can either do it this way or just cook them on a regular grill over kind of like medium heat coals. So exactly what I said I did in the oven, I did on the Traeger. 350 for about 30 minutes and then I just increased the heat to 425. And so they're getting nice and crispy now. Probably about 45 minutes to an hour total cook time. Now, the age old question, ranch? or blue cheese. Personally, I like both, but I prefer blue cheese with wings. And for me, ranch is really for the crust of pizza and pizza itself. But because we always just kill it on this channel, we're gonna make both. <laughs> for the ranch, mayonnaise and buttermilk. First of all, never buy bottled ranch. I don't know why anybody does that. And secondly, you wanna use these packets, but not this one. For some reason, and I'm so mad about this, my local supermarket stopped carrying the buttermilk version of this. This will be okay, but it's not nearly as good as the buttermilk version. Add that in. As always, the recipe will be in the description. And something I really like to do is to add fresh chives and dill. And now it's Fancy Pants Ranch. Now just give it a good mix and leave it in the fridge to chill. For the blue cheese, dressing mayonnaise, sour cream, little buttermilk, and of course your blue cheese. I do prefer the ones that are a little bit creamier. Lemon juice, touch of Worcestershire sauce, and just a little salt and pepper, not much. And now just blend it all up. And it's really that simple. I just blended it for a minute. Mmm. That's awesome. Okay, so about this three day marinade, I just tried a wing and they are unbelievably tasty and tender. So that extra marinade time is awesome. Now for the wing sauce, Frank's Red Hot Original. Straight in, bring this up to a simmer. Personally, I like to add a little bit of pepper, which is Sergeant Gilbert's insides. And also just a little bit of honey, makes it into a sweet, sour, salty, spicy sauce. I love it. Now, while this is simmering, we're gonna add little cubes of cold unsalted butter, little by little. Just do a couple tablespoons at a time and just work it in with a whisk. When your first round of butter is almost melted, just add the next batch. Tell you what, if you're making hot wings, buffalo wings, there is no substitution to Frank's Red Hot. It's, it's the original. It's the one and only. Not that you can't make good spicy wings without it, but for me, it's just the number one. And it's that easy, my friends. Sauce done. Okay, so the wings. And again, that marinade was an awesome call. Sauce on and just toss. Oh my God, these are gonna be so good. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually just talk about how to eat a wing because this is a big issue. And also, by the way, there's nothing wrong with these drums, but in my opinion, flats are just superior. Now, this technique I learned from my buddy Matt at Grork Boys Barbecue. You wanna take this thinner end on top, and what you do is push down like this. Even that bone just came out, and you're left with this little meat pop, and then just straight into the sauce. Mm. And another thing you can do is just wiggle the bone pull it out and do the same with the other bone, boneless wing. How cool is that? One bite. Oh. Yeah! All right, my friends, I hope you learned something today. I hope you're happy. And until next time, you know I love you and I'm out.